welcome to the new video on authoring GitHub actions using GitHub Copilot. In today's video, we explore two of the great products from GitHub, GitHub Actions. It's an event-driven extensible automation framework available as part of the GitHub, mainly used for automating our build pipelines or release pipelines. And the next one is the GitHub Copilot. It's an AI pair programmer helps the developers to deliver the codes or the quality codes in a much faster way. Based on the comments provided or the context given by the developer, Copilot will come up with the suggestions in terms of what code pieces will help them to achieve his requirements or deliver his requirements. So let us quickly look at these two products, how they both can work together or how the Copilot can help us other the uh, actions workflows. So those who are familiar with actions, um, the actions workflow will be defined as YAML files under .github workflows. That's a repository path we use for the workflow files. And the GitHub Copilot is a extension to multiple IDs. Here I am using Visual Studio code and the you can observe the icon down, which indicate the copilot is installed and available for me or ready to help me. So let us quickly start our workflow ordering. So start with the first one. I'm going to order a workflow with the help of copilot for deploying my application to Azure App Services. And let us start define GitHub workflows for deployment to Azure App Service. Use the push and pull request events to trigger the workflow. There are some more requirements. So let me explain my NDR requirements so that Copilot can understand better and give better suggestions. So, so I specified the workflow requirement. I given the, uh, the events required for the workflow. Now I'm asking to start with the first job. Should log into Azure using Actions OIDC. In the first job, I don't need to log in. First show, job is for build. Build the container image and push to. Okay, it's given Azure Container Registry. Let me rephrase my requirement. I am going to use GitHub Container Registry instead of Azure. And I have a second job. See, Copilot already start giving me some suggestions. Second job is for deploying to the container image to Azure App Service. In my, in the staging environment. Okay. And I am specifying. Use the actions. YDC for authentication to Azure. So almost all the things are covered here. My requirement. Let me see how the copilot will be able to help me. So it's given a name. Now the events. Okay, it's uh, aligned to my requirement. Push and pull, pull request events came. Now started the jobs. Uh, I am expecting three jobs. The first for building. Okay, build and push image. Let us see what Excel is doing. It's running on Ubuntu latest, checking out my code and doing a log, Docker login to yes, GitHub container registry. And it's building and pushing the things up. And the second one, it's the login to Azure, but it's not used to IDC, it's used the credentials. Then it's done the deployment using my container image yes it's a map using the image using the sha github sha 
exactly the same thing for the production so let me just start modifying something like uh, my locking angle i need the oidc okay it uh, take the subscription id and the client id as you can observe here also it's helping me so this the three entities required for the oidc based uh, login so exactly the same thing i can replicate here as well for my production environment okay it understand my context and started giving the comment properly so after deployment i need a step for logging out of the so add a step to log log out of azure okay it's given that one so that's exactly the same thing i need for my production environment as well cool it's okay comments done so as part of the staging deployment let me try to introduce some more stages like after deployment let me run run the sonar queue scan let me see whether it is able to get my sonar queue integration here cool i'm able to get it using ndr tokens and everything available here it is a action from sonar source is taken here and i just need to give the secrets required so any exclusions also it's suggested if i need to take this one i can go ahead and use it and at the same time it's not mandatory for you to select exactly the same thing you can go for open copa github copilot and can see the solutions multiple solutions which can be opted for this one so it's a given multiple solutions here the test is different exclusions javascript coverage and everything if i want another solution all together so i just need a simple exclusion list only i just accepted that one same way let me try to run the code ql scan that's from well, github directly i am able to run the code ql and i can omit whatever the optional one for example i don't need um, the database uploading i just added only these things it's an form okay and i am planning to run some okay cool so within hardly 2 minutes time i am able to complete my complete ci cd setup for my symbol it's not a complete thing but uh, at the beginning with the help of copilot 80 percentage of my code or the workflows are ready here so let us he see how the copilot will help me in a different scenario all together in this scenario i am going to use some issue creations using a push thing so define a workflow for creating github issue based on push comment let's use a push event to comment so let us see okay whatever push happened in the main at the readme.md it's going to do a job and create an issue so as you can see it's giving the complete detail and also it's taken the data from my commit message so let us see how we can add more things here add a step to um, as the issue is ready i may need to send a notification step to notify the user over email okay so it's cool it's brought the create an update comment so it's not giving a email thing so 
this is not what I required. So, so let us see how I can add another one. So my context or the statement I specified is not correct. So I am just going to do again add a step to send a notification email. Well, now I am able to get a send email using SMTP. This this action is what expected. Now, as the issue is there, I send a notification. Now, let me see how to update the things. Add, update, or assign the notification. Assign the issue to Octocad. Which went ahead and assigned the issue to Octocad. And you can see how it is linked also. It's taken the create issue step output, the issue number. So if you see here, this is my create issue, the output. Actually, I need to have an ID here for using that step, create issue. So using this create issue ID, I'm referring this particular step and getting the issue number and assigning that to Octocat user. So it's not only really going to work for CI CD setup, I can define the workflows for any of these things. So let me see whether it can understand a little more further my cron job. Define a workflow run over the schedule or schedule over the At Sunday, 10 30 p.m. Yeah, sometime I have seen. Should you even to trigger the workflow? What I need to do in the workflow is build the .NET core application using. Okay. Let it build, and I am going to define define the history build using Windows and Ubuntu with the help of Matrix strategy. So I am going a little detailed into the actions area. And I specified that use the Windows and Ubuntu runners using metric strategy and also built using .NET Core latest version. A .NET Core latest version is enough. Okay, let us see weekly build. Name looks fine. Okay, the cron jobs are defined. Jobs. And it should have a metric strategy. As you can see, it's defined a metric strategy with the Windows latest and Ubuntu latest. And it run on the .NET version, the latest version. And check out. And it's uh, build the .NET thing. And using the setup .NET, it's taken the metrics, which metrics it's triggered. And I am not using OS anywhere here. That's why this particular matrix is not taken. Okay. So let me try to add some stuff here. Define a step to run the unit test. Okay, it's done the unit test. Now define a step to run the integrate test using Selenium. So it went for the .NET integration test, so not the Selenium one. So define a step to run the Selenium test. OK. 
category selenium. So you can observe that almost the same thing with the category selenium is coming up around the particular configuration area. If you have some more things, you can do it. So from these three different workflow creation, one for the CI, CD complete thing with the even the container registry and the secrets uh, OIDC and the issue creation and updation sending emails. And the next one is on a scheduled weekend job with a metric strategy. Everywhere the copilot is able to help me to achieve my requirement quickly and very faster way. And it's not only really copilot is giving one statement, it gives a lot of suggestions for me, just like at a step to run this one. Okay, it's given this one. If I am not interested in this step, go here. You will get multiple solutions here. So it's getting that. Um, I think there is only one solution. The remaining is duplicated. That's why it's hidden. So let us see something else. Run the code analysis. So don't specific one expand again. So here, code analysis, you have multiple tools um, segregated. So you can look at the, which one you want, sonar or run code analysis or uh, different things. If required, you can select one of them to add it. So that's all how the copilot can help you achieve your ordering of github actions very quickly and faster and also it gives you more suggestions 